Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. And welcome to my episode 38 of Saturday Morning Makes. Hey y'all, welcome to Saturday Morning Makes. This is Nancy the Handy Scandy. I am still under the weather. Um, if you guys have had COVID or know anyone who has had COVID, um, hopefully you understand what's going on with me. <laughs> um, it's been a very long and rough couple of weeks um yeah anyway so I'm sure you can still hear it in my voice it waxes and wanes and kind of changes and one symptom's present today and not tomorrow and that kind of thing so again while I'm feeling semi-energetic <laughs> um maybe that's not even the right word maybe just in a positive mood I, I feel like crap to be honest but in a positive mood. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. I will get as far through this as I can. Um, again, Saturday Morning Makes is a beautiful and fun and warm and welcoming art collaborative started by the amazing Jillian Norwood of Greenwood Girl Cards. And she invites all of us to play along with her and spend some time crafting the initial intent was on Saturday morning, but it has expanded. It's taken on a life of its own, and we are encouraged just to create and to make whenever we're able, and we try to share on Saturday morning, but again, that has expanded, and we share whenever we're able. So um, here I am. This actually is Saturday morning. I believe it's December 9th, if I am not mistaken, and um, I can't believe we're already nine days into December. But on the days and the moments where I have felt okay since I've been sick, I try to come in and, and do a little bit here and a little bit there. And um, I have these fun tags to share. But before I share my tags, I actually did some card making. So let me, let me set the tags aside and I'll share my cards. Now, I was going to share with you guys or do kind of a flip through of some pre-made backgrounds that I have but since I just did that with some tags I decided not to um, do that flip through with the backgrounds right now but as I was flipping through them I pulled out some that I wanted to play with and this was one that I actually had started it is a uh, whimsy stamps little um, birthday monster and um, I, I had started it several months ago and didn't finish it, but this time I went ahead and die cut out the the card panel itself and I added the happy and the birthday stamp and then these beautiful confetti from this calls for confetti and it's card done. Simple and sweet. And now these two were created from some gel plate prints that I that I had. I still have several because I printed multiple. But um this is a big mandala. It is a um what do they call them? It's from Art by Marlene. And gosh, it's it's basically a, a rubber stamp, a big rubber stamp, but it doesn't have the um, cling on the back, so you use it for your gel plate print, and I can't remember what that's called. But anyway, I did use them, and I added some ink to it, and then I was able to get um, lots of different... Um, variations on this one stamp and I think it's absolutely beautiful but um, again pulled pulled those out of my stash die cut them down with just some scraps in my scrap scrap bins and this um, these tags let me see where I have them they're new from whimsy and I am using the heck out of them they are called the frame labels die set and these shapes are just gorgeous. There's multiple of this shape, and then there's multiple of this shape as well. So they're so pretty. You can see that one's just a little bit smaller. This might be that exact size. Yeah, but they're, I love them. I just love them. So there's that. Now this was, I'm not even sure what die that was from, but it was just in my stash, so I cut it, and I just used it there to add some interest. But both sentiments are from a whimsy set. I don't have everything out. I have some things out that I've used. But again, these were created over two weeks. So 
Um, I don't have everything out still, but these are from a Whimsy Stamps stamp set, and I love them. They have a lot of kind of um, everyday sentiments, if you will. And then this one doesn't have any confetti, but this one I have the, the beautiful flat, very, very shiny confetti. And gosh, I'm just in love with that confetti. It's so pretty. Now let me see what is next. So let's do these two. So both of these backgrounds are from Thermoweb, I believe. I believe they are. And I they they come with the foil or with the um, toner on them and then I foiled them many, many, many months ago, maybe even more than a year ago, maybe even more than two. I don't know. But they were sitting in my stash and I said, all I gotta do is add something to them and they're done. So that's exactly what I did. So this little Santa is from the new Tim Holtz set. And I don't have him in front of, or have it in front of me right now. I'm not sure where it is. But um, anyway, it was one of his stamp timber, or the stamp timber. Yeah, it was his stamp timber collaboration with Simon Says Stamp. And um, there's many different little um, holiday icons. This is from the same set. And then the Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. Now, this particular die is very similar to that label die, the label die set from Whimsy to this set, but it is from this Mama Elephant. Um, I don't know if that means Fort. We have Fort Lafayette here. Um, Lafayette Road, Fayetteville is named after Lafayette. I live in Fayetteville, North Carolina. But anyway, I don't know what the FT means, but this guy is in there and it is one of my favorites. And there are some um, reinforcer tags or dies in there as well to make it into a tag. So this one you can put two, this one has, a, <clears throat> it's a long one, a long die to create a longer hole, you know. Anyway, that that is that one from that Mama Elephant set. I don't believe this is available any longer. This, however, is, it's brand new. It doesn't have quite that same size. This is the biggest. No, this is the biggest. Let me let me show you. If you guys kind of like this shape like I do, but you can see the difference in the size. So this one is quite a bit larger. And I use both of these multiple times on the on the projects that I share today. In fact, I think all of them have them. Everything that I share today, I think, has it. But anyway, then moving on to this one. This is from, this image is from Impression Obsession. It was part of a, a stamp set of the month from last year. And I thought that I had it right by, but I don't have it either. Anyway, this is one of several images on there, and I've used I've used several of them before, but I just added some um, lace. Where is this lace? I know I have it somewhere too, because I just used it today as well. So this is lace that I picked up from Amazon, and um, I just I just love it. I've used it on many many projects over the years, and um, yeah, so. Is this the one I used? This is the one that I used for this particular card. And then I just used some um, stickles to create the snow in the background and to add some shimmer and shine. And then I used these beautiful confetti from this Calls for Confetti as well to decorate the tree. And um, of course I stamped it on craft. I did, I did initially color it in um, colored pencils, but I wasn't able to get this same kind of um, violet fuchsia color. So I moved on to markers and I added markers to it. But there is that one. So there's those two. Put them over here. And now this this guy, <laughs> he's from that same, same stamp set with the Santa from Tim Holtz. And this was a scrap. It is um, an alcohol ink pull from the gel plate 
This is some very old Stampin' Up um, pattern paper, but I thought it pulled out the green very well. And um, I just colored him up very simply in the, um, what are these called? Holly. <laughs> colored them up very simply as well. I like that pop of red, so that's why I chose to use the, the red confetti again for his buttons. And again, that confetti is from this Calls for Confetti. This um, die set is from Whimsy Stamps. Notched, stitched, mini notch stitched rectangle frames or something like that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have the stamina to link to everything, but I will link to um, the specific stores. I'll link to Whimsy. I'll link to Impression Obsession. I'll link to this Calls for Confetti. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to search around and either find the specific things that I've used or find whatever interests you. So... Um, yep, yeah, there's that. I think he's adorable. And you can see that I use those same frames for the Holly Jolly Christmas. Now, um, these two, these were made from a die from Simon Says Stamp or from dies, plural. And I thought that I had pulled them out. Let me see. I did pull them out. Here they are. Whoop, things want to fall. So I have the Big Gnome and I have the Little Gnome. They were released several years ago. So this is the little guy and the shadow, of course. That is him. And this one is this guy with the shadow, of course. And um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with these guys. Now, this one I made first and um, this background was from my sweet friend Lisa and she sent me several different things to play with and um, you know when it's just sitting in your stash sometimes things get forgotten but since I was going through my stash I, I found them and decided yep I'm gonna play with them so I this this background again was from Lisa and it was the um, inspiration for the um, coloring of, of both of the gnomes actually and then when I found this background this is one that I did it is a gel plate print from um, or with a stencil from this calls for no a colorful life designs and I believe this is that antique doily again this was already in my stash I just used the ink to um, to um, give it that distressed look but tie in the color as well and here I have another or a couple more of those um, die frames and that this is of course the larger one from Mama Elephant and this one is the die from Whimsy Stamps and you can see I have this scallop a larger one and then a smaller one slimline scallop dies those are from um, not pretty pink posh studio Katya they're several years old, and I don't know if you can see the texture in the background, but I used that um, embossing folder from Spellbinders that I've recently got. And then I did this one as well, just to give it some texture, but I didn't want to add any more color um, or, or pattern. I just wanted the texture. But on this one, you can see that I added this really soft, um, kind of iridescent confetti from this Calls for Confetti. And then this is um, the same one that I decorated the Christmas tree with on the little um, snowman card. So I don't have anything on the insides or on the backs of any of these, but um, I thought they were fun. And I, I love that color combo, I really do. And again, this, this background from Lisa, um, Lisa Wolf, was the inspiration for both of these. And then, of course, this calls for confetti is um, Lisa Mensing, Lisa Blanton Mensing. So that's those two. Now, these two, you know, not everything we do is, is good, right? <laughs> but full disclosure, I did make this one. This was a, a piece of, of pattern paper, if you will, or a background that was left over from a pull. And... Um, I just added these little girl gnomes to it. It is not my favorite. It is not my favorite at all. But I made it, so I thought I would share it. Um, 
both of these dies and this die for that matter and this stamp are from Whimsy. These are from, I can't remember, they're Mama Elephant. I can't remember who they're from, but they're the Little Agenda. Whoever does the Little Agenda, um, all the Little Agenda stamp sets. Um, anyway, it's it's a hot mess. I tried to tried to make it better. I did this little frame. It's a Fadoodles frame from um, Whimsy, and then these um, snowflakes are from Stampin' Up. And then again, I've got the little um, confetti there from from this calls for confetti, but. Again, full disclosure, I'm just sharing everything that I made, whether I like it or not. <laughs> and then this one, I wanted to watercolor. So I did, you know, I don't know if you've been seeing all of those watercolor things on um, probably Instagram, right? Let me get a drink real quick. Sorry. Um, anyway, I, this is. This is my version of it, and then I added the um, rock candy glitter, and I, when I put the glue down around them, the black pen that I went around each image with just kind of bled together because it's a water, water-based. These um, elegant writers, and I wasn't even thinking that they were um, water soluble, and so when I added the glue, they just all blended together, and then of course the confetti. Um, looks black as well. It's just not pretty. <laughs> but again, I made it. This Merry Christmas I think is beautiful. This is from um, Pink Fresh Studio and again it's several years old. It's um, some holiday stamps, um, sentiments, and then the dies that go along with those as well. But anyway, I made them. So there they are. Not my favorites, but there they are. So these two, I started with, um, this was actually a tag that was on, I don't know if it was on some clothes or some housewares, I don't know, but anyway, I kept it, and then I stamped, um, where are these two images at? They're over here. So I have this, it's from Hero Arts. It is called... I don't know. I know it has a name. I'm not sure. Oh, ooh, that's tiny. Etched Winter Scene Bold Prints. So I love, love this stamp. I love that it has that Vincent van Gogh Starry Night feel to it. I love that it's kind of a Nordic feel as well. Love, love, love. And so all of this was just in my stash. All of these little die cuts were in my stash. These little deary die cuts. The God Jewel was in my stash. Um, I used this WOW embossing powder. It's called Royal Emerald. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's green and gold. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. WOW embossing powder um, sponsored a Hop for the Craft Collabs Facebook group several years ago, and that was one of them that they, one of the powders that they gave me that hop and um, yeah you can you can kind of see the gold in the background but it's mostly green but it has a gold cast to it but anyway nothing nothing special just um, just things from my stash because I was going through my stash and so literally I had it everywhere but um, yeah I think it's I think it's really pretty and this one is the same, except I use this brilliant or decadent ruby. And again, it's it's red and gold. You can see mostly gold there. Let me flip it over this way. No, nope, it just looks mostly gold. But there is red in there as well. Oh no. I don't know if you can see it or not. I hope it's picking that up. But anyway, that's it. Decadent ruby. And then the other is royal emerald and um i added some cardstock to the or some pattern paper to the back and again some more little cutouts or die cuts from my stash and the god jewel and this one is is much simpler um i did not want to add all the florals to that one i don't know why i chose to add them to this one to be fair i don't know but i just did so that's those two i think they're very pretty and then for these two, 
these two got very, very busy. <laughs> very, very busy. And I used this stamp set from Hello Bluebird. I have no idea what it's called. I'm sure it's on there somewhere. Oh, here we go. What does it say? Petal Play. And then it has the number 2021 Hello Bluebird. And I got that this summer. Um, I used it for some Halloween um, projects. And then it's just sat. And when I was going through my stash again, I thought, oh, yes, use that one. So I pulled it out. And I just embossed with the um, gold embossed embossing powder from Imagine Crafts. And um, I had, again, all of these were just in my stash. These poinsettias and the um, holly and the eucalyptus um, and the candy canes. There's another holly there. Um, all of those are from Simon Says Stamp. Again, I colored them up last year, fussy cut them out, and they've just been sitting in my stamp. Did I fussy cut or do I have the dies? I think I have the dies. That is too clean of a cut for it to have been fussy cut. But then these, these green pieces were from a die from, I believe, Whimsy Stamps. And then these little um, vellum pieces and the white glossy and the, even the gold glossy. Those are, I'm not even sure who they're from, to be honest. I'm not sure. But these are the same as, as these. And these and I want to say they might be pink fresh studio they might be because they have some folksy ones that I or have some folk folksy product that I have from years past so anyway I just continued to layer and layer and then I pulled out a couple um, stamps from um, Gumi up in oh I did not show you but this this is the God Jewel die that was on those other two and again, it's from Gumi Up In. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, but um, there's that. Let me see if I have the stamps. I do. So this is the God Jewel stamp again from Gumi Up In, and this is the Huva Hula, and that means Merry Christmas. This is Merry Christmas in um, Swedish and Danish, and um, I did not use that one, but Huva Hula. This isn't finished. Yeah. Did I say that? I don't know. Anyway, I also have this from my, my sweet friend, Julia. Um, it's a die, but it was just too big. So um, I went ahead and stamped those out on the same frames from Whimsy Stamps and um, added the, the ribbon and the twine and um, called them done. I should probably have added something to the back of this one to cover that up. But I didn't, so it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Now, these four are actually, um, I made them over a couple of days. Let me just lay them out because those two are the same and then these two are the same. So I started out with this beautiful pattern paper from This Calls for Confetti. This is from the Christmas Post 6x6 six six paper pad. There's lots of beautiful papers in here. And it's all kind of has a male theme. M-A-I-L, male. And then the fall, and then it starts over. So obviously I use the, the pink, the plaid that's more pink. See, there's one that's pink and then there's one that's more red. So I used this one and then I used this as well. So love, love, love that pattern paper. And then I use this die tag die set from um, Creative Impre Expressions by Sam Poole. I just, I don't know, I love this little fishtail um, detail. Love that. I used both sizes. So obviously these are the larger two, these are the smaller two. And then I, um, I have this die set again from Creative Expressions. The designer is Sam Poole. They're meant for Halloween, but I mean, anything can be used for anything, just depending on how you color it or what papers you use. So made them sweet little Christmas cats. Um, they're like cat dolls, kind of a, a primitive design. And then this um, voodoo doll from 
impression obsession Anna White designed that and um, I've had it in my stash for quite some time now several months and um, I kept pulling it out to use it and then didn't so anyway there there they are and um, yeah I used the the pattern papers to make their to create their dresses and I did a little bit of ink blending and this is the larger die from um, Mama Elephant this is the, the largest of the smaller dies from Whimsy and then I used um, Sparkle All the Way confetti from this calls for confetti on, on all four of them. And, um, you know, you should be able to see. I used a little bit of stickles on, like, their buttons. And um, I have these little hats. These hats are from Gumia Finn as well. This was um, a free gift. I think I purchased the, this particular God Jewel die last year and then this little hat came with it. It was a freebie and so I have several of them die cut out and then I just colored them in red with a red marker and then added some stickles. So I did that to, to all four of them. I added a hat to them to make them Christmassy. Otherwise they're just voodoo dolls and cat dolls. <laughs> and then these um, I used the Rick Rack from my stash, and this ribbon was from my stash. And I used the same die for each of these little tags. And then I used, so here's this one. This is the Season's Greetings, the um, Merry Christmas. That's the, what is this called? Holly. <laughs> yeah, so the Merry Christmas and the Season's Greetings. And then these little charms, they're just for you, and uh, warm winter wishes are from another set. And if I find it before I end this video, I'll definitely show you. Oh, here we go. Not from Whimsy. From Simon and um, Pink, Pink and Main from, was this this year's or last year's? I don't know. It doesn't say what year. 2023 this was this year's but anyway there's the warm winter wishes and the just for you and then again I use that same holly on all of those but um let me show you I have these I have several different colors of these bulb pins or garment pins um, pur purchased from a vendor on Amazon and then these little little charms again are from Amazon and there's everything you can think of in here but I just pulled out the ones that I felt kind of coordinated because these guys have the little hearts I added this hearts this one says made with love this one just has a little rose on it up in the corner um, yep and then these are both little keys I don't really have anything that was specific to Christmas in there so I am going to purchase some Christmas charms though so I could have added another jump ring so that they would lay a little more flat but um, I was tuckered out at that point and was doing good to get those added on there so that is everything I have to share with you today guys it's actually quite a lot considering how sick I've been but when I on the days that I came in here. Um, some sometimes I j literally just sat and did nothing. Um, I watch TV. I have YouTube going um, a lot, and I literally just had the TV going and did nothing. Um, other days I actually got busy, and um, but again it's been almost two full weeks. So these are all of my all of my goodies. Let me know your thoughts. Let let me know. If you've had COVID, <laughs> how bad was yours? How long did it last? Was it weird? Did it morph on you every day and change symptoms and, and that kind of thing? Because I'm telling you, this has been wild. It's been one wild ride. So anyway, let me know if you have a favorite of these. Um, yeah. Whew. Thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you for being patient with me as I fumbled and mumbled through everything. 
Um, Y'all, I hope everybody is doing well. I wish nothing but the best for you, for health, for happiness. Um, I pray that you're able to spend time with those that you love and that you're able to do things that bring you joy and happiness. And um, that's it. I love you guys. I thank you so much. Until next time, this is Nancy, the Handy Scandy with Saturday Morning Makes. Mwah. I'm out.